hello friends and welcome again on my youtube channel for another lecture of the series nucleus and today we are going to talk about another very key important organelle which is present within the nucleus and that is referred to as nucleolus now nucleolus nucleolus is completely a dynamic structure as the name indicate it is dynamic it used to disappear in the prophase of the cell division and again reappear in the telophase stage of the cell division it is acidophilic in nature it is acidophilic because the basic histone proteins are absent when histone proteins are absent and only dna is present only dna dna which is negatively charged it is negatively charged because it is deoxyribonucleic acid so you can see here there are no histone proteins only dna is present as the name indicate deoxyribonucleic acid so this is why it is acidophilic in nature it is without membrane bound organelle which is present within the nucleus there is no membrane which is bound around it it is absent in the case of dinoflagellates each nucleolus is produced by a specialized structure which is referred to as nuclear organizing region now see this nucleolus is being produced by a nuclear organizing region now this nuclear organizing region are present on nuclear organizing chromosomes what are these nuclear organizing chromosomes these are the one that have the dna which encodes for the formation of rrna they are the one which will lead to the formation of rrna and rrna will get associated with protein leading to the formation of ribosomes so actually each and every living organism must possess at least one nuclear organizing region present within its cells without which it will not be able to produce any ribosomes and without the ribosomes as we all know there would be no protein biosynthesis to take place so each nucleolus is being produced by nuclear organizing region and nuclear organizing region are present on the nuclear organizing chromosomes in the case of homo sapiens that is we all these nuclear organizing region are present on chromosome number 13 14 15 21 and 22 and each of these chromosomes contains five nuclear organizing regions in ourselves these number of nuclear organizing region and the number of nucleoli per cell is drastically varied in the living world they may be one per cell as a minimum and are present at a maximum number in xenopus oocyte where they are present at 1000 nucleoli per cell as i have already told you that this nucleolus is the one which is importantly known for the biosynthesis of ribosomal subunit because it contains the rdna present within itself and it is this rdna which will lead to the biosynthesis of rrna transcription of rrna from the r dna and it is this r dna which is being associated with the innermost compartment of the nucleolus which is called as fibrillar center the nucleolus could be categorized into three part fibrillar center fibrillar component and granular component the first center fibrillar center is the one that contains r dna and leads to the biosynthesis of r rna through the process of transcription so transcription is taking place within the fibrillar center the next component is fibrillar component it is this component that reorganizes r rna with proteins and lead to the biosynthesis of the component that is referred to as ribosomes later on the ribosomes are being matured in the granular component it is this granular component that contains the mature ribosomal subunit which are then transported out of the nucleus as you can see in the diagram they would be transported in their individual subunits and then they would be accumulated within the cytosol to form the complete structure of the ribosome so many students get confused that how the individual subunits how the large ribosome which is of larger size can get across the nuclear pore apparatus because it is being fragmented into small fragments those fragments are being transported out and then they are being accumulated within the cytoplasm 
where they form the complete structure of the ribosome. Now, later on, it is this nuclear organizing region forms pre-mRNA. The pre-mRNA that is referred to as 45S leads to the formation of 5.8, 18S, 28S RNA, which in association with 5S RNA from the chromosome number 1 and the proteins will lead to the formation of ribosomal subunits and the ribosome. It was Heats who firstly called the nucleolar organizing regions as sine acid thermonucleanico, whereas Barbara McClintock called them as nucleolar organizer. Later on, it was the Fontana who firstly gave the name nucleolus. Now, Nucleolus organizing regions can be recognized over the chromosomes as specialized constrictions present over the chromosomes in the form of nucleolar organizing regions which are called as secondary constriction. Here we have drawn a chromosome. The small arm is referred to as P because it is referred to as petite arm which means small and the larger arm is referred to as Q by default by conventional notification. Now the fibrilla center which is present at the center of the nucleolus contain three different types of bodies in associated with it. These are fibrilla center. Center contains three bodies. Which are these three bodies? The three bodies which are being associated with it are A the Kajal bodies which are involved in methylation of RNA, methylation of RNA. The second one being the Gemine bodies. These Gemine bodies are involved in the processing of the RNA. And the last bodies which are present are referred to as PML bodies. PML bodies. You can see the bodies above in the above figures as I am writing down. In the case of PML bodies, these PML bodies are the one, these are the site where the transcription factors could interact with the chromatin. Sites for interaction of transcription factors. with chromatin regulating the transcription of several different types of genes and chromatin modification. Now another thing is very important there is another protein which is involved. This protein is referred to as sumo protein. The sumo protein is involved in the translocation of these transcription factors to PML bodies involved in translocation of transcription factors to PML bodies. This is all about the nucleolus, its organization, its function, its component, the super component of the fibrilla center, the Kajal, Gemine, PML bodies, their function, their constituents. Thank you. Thanks a lot.